The wet season continues across Trinidad and Tobago, but also the hurricane season. Right now it's quiet, but this is the time when we tend to see the hurricane season peaking. Obviously from August the 20th all the way up until the peak on the September 11th, this is when we see the sharpest increase in the number of systems developing out in the Atlantic as well as through the Caribbean. And then we obviously you take a dip as you get towards the latter half of the season. But right now it's all quiet. All courtesy of the Saharan dust in the air. Also, the unfavorable wind shear basically coming in from the northwest. We also have a rather cool waters out there in the Atlantic. So all of those are active, all those factors are basically playing a part in a rather quiet season that we've been having at least uh, for the last uh, few weeks. So in terms of uh, the uh, number of uh, tropical waves, they are there, but most of it will actually be just the occasional showers uh, popping up. So you will see some of that activity popping up, maybe around Trinidad and Tobago as you get towards the latter half of the afternoon. A few of that are... Uh, moisture levels the moisture levels rising will likely contribute to some of those uh, heavier downpours as we go through later on uh, through tonight and then possibly for the most part uh, through your tuesday so notice the green colors there signifying the showers the gray colors signifying a lot of the cloudiness as well so you're looking for a rather cloudy day for the most part across trinidad and tobago and also there's the spells of showers and rain possibility of a thundery downpour as well now, for those of you in Tobago, there is the possibility of a few of those showers popping up around Scarborough, down towards Keenan, as well as then to Buku. But the bulk of the activity will actually be around Trinidad. So if you are around the eastern areas of Trinidad, you'll notice a few of those are heavier showers. Not necessarily the first part of your night, but probably closer to the early part of your morning. And then as the day warms, you'll also notice a couple of the showers that may turn the thundery around Piarco into down towards the beach and across into Chaguanas as well. And then up towards uh, the western coastline through Dega Martin and Port of Spain, there's the likelihood of a thundery downpour here. Now, we don't have to tell you that uh, during uh, this time of the year, any of those uh, heavier showers could cause street or flash flooding. And also any of those uh, thundery downpours could also bring you some gusty winds. So be mindful of uh, those factors as you go through your day on a Tuesday. Now tonight will be relatively cool, 24 degrees Celsius, and then we'll see most of the clouds limiting the temperatures tomorrow to about 30 degrees Celsius, so comfortable for quite a few of you. And then on Wednesday, the sunshine will become out once more, continuing into Thursday, and a hot 32 expected in Tobago, and 33 is likely in Trinidad. But at least on Wednesday, that heat and the lingering moisture may contribute to a thundery downpour, but on Thursday and Friday, conditions should be pretty fair for both Trinidad and Tobago. Now, those heading offshore looking for those east southeasterly winds of 10 knots. Also, you notice there are only a few white caps from time to time, but more so in those uh, thundery downpours and short east northeasterly swells no higher than 8 seconds. And there's only one high tide for you tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. Now, across the eastern Caribbean, they too will likely begin to see the effects of that tropical wave. But it basically, it's only going to be bringing a few showers from time to time for the most part up the island chain. Most of the activity, as you can see here, will likely be around the southern Windward Islands, possibly as far north as Barbados. So if you are heading to Bridgetown, you will see some damp spots there. 32 degrees Celsius, so it may also feel humid at times. But once you get past Barbados and you get into a solution and further up towards Dominica, a lot more sunshine is expected here especially up towards the Basque and St. Kitts, 32, and uh, lots more sunshine as they go through their day. Also, I'm talking about temperature-wise, Port-au-Prince will likely be 36 as they go through their Tuesday. That heat will likely spark a couple of brief showers, but all the while, again, the Caribbean and the Atlantic are pretty quiet, at least for now. Now, for us here in Trinidad and Tobago, we'll be seeing some showery spells and the possibility of a thundery downpour as well. So just take care. So that's your weather, and that's it from me.